Good morning, little angels. Say happy Friday, YouTube. <laughs> do ladies hear all of the birdies chirping outside because it just rained so much? We do have a Kiki Lulu on the chair over there. What do you think, angels? Your mama's about to go work out. I'm about to go get on the bike, but it's a good Friday, friends, because the last episode of 10 Very Big Books podcast for Memories of Ice is now uploaded on Spotify, and I can listen to the end of it now because I've already finished it, so I've been waiting to hear this. So Carly came to say hello. Right, honey? I'm going to go bike. I don't know if you can hear what I'm hearing right now, but please, Lord God, let this house sell as soon as possible so I don't have to deal with my... Rain it in. Be nice. With my neighbors, who I'm sure have great reasons for allowing their dogs to bark endlessly. I hate you. I hate you. Trying to enjoy some peaceful time on this Friday morning. <laughs> Anyways, thought I would update you guys a little bit. So I think I'm close to 25% of the way through The Killing Moon, which is the first book in the Dream Blood duology by N.K. Jemisin. And like I said in my last vlog when I started it, it's very interesting. I think she said it's almost like inspired by like Egyptian mythology or something like that. So the strengths so far are definitely the world building, the mythology, the magic and that kind of thing. But it's very confusing. The names just throw me for a loop and you are introduced to tons of new characters all the time. So at 25% of the way through, I, I have an understanding of like what's going on for the most part right now but I need some more details so hopefully we'll get to that soon because like we were introduced to somebody that I thought was going to be a major character and then like she was supposed to be killed right away I don't know what's going on with that and then in the shadow rising I'm about almost 50% of the way through it now and I am just obsessed with Matt I want Matt in every chapter now. I literally adore him. He's so freaking funny because he has such a good heart, but he complains about everything. And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not doing this. And then he's like, okay, well, let's just do it. He'll be like, I'm not going in there. You're crazy. You can save yourself. And then he's like, if he doesn't come out of there, look, I got to rest. I got to do something. Like he has a good heart, but he just complains. And I love it. And I'm here for it. But I got to get out of this room before I literally go kill a dog and go get some breakfast. I feel like filming some videos today, so let's hope that neighbors can be responsible adults and make their dogs stop barking so I can film that before I have to leave my house for a showing. That's all. You guys wanna know something really dumb? I'll show you. Oh, there's an owl. Most days I still wear my um, I am the war you cannot win bracelet. Like if I ever go anywhere. On the arm. On the arm that it's tattooed on. Cause that makes sense, right? <laughs> I still love it. Like I still want to wear it even though it's like permanently on my body. So I am yet again about to be out the door because I have more showings today. And then I'm going to see my grandparents and be outside just because they are at risk. So I do not want to get closer than six feet to them definitely because of their health, but I also will not go, you know, however month, however many months without seeing them at all. So we're going to go see them outside and then I might help my dad on the bathroom that he's doing for when I move in. I have more showings tomorrow. Who knows, but I'm 40% of the way through the killing moon and I'm 54% of the way through the shadow rising. So and I have exciting things coming for a buddy read and then another buddy read collaboration with one of my favorite newer booktubers. It's very exciting things. I'm happy. Happy Monday. I made it to chapter 46 of The Shadow Rising. So I have this really weirdly propped up because I can't hold on to the camera right now. <laughs> I have to document this. I was just pulling into my driveway and I got out to get the mail. My neighbor, my little neighbor boy is like maybe six years old. 
and he goes, um, why are you moving? Are you moving because you don't like me? I thought you were moving because you don't like me. And I was like, oh, sweet honey, no, <laughs> that's not it at all. Because he's always playing in my driveway. He's so cute. Then he told me I was hot. He said, I saw you pulling in and I was like, oh, she's so hot. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then he goes, why are you alone? <laughs> I said, buddy, that's a long, long, long story. And you don't want to hear it. <laughs> and the mom was like, oh, stop asking questions like this child. Anyways, when your six-year-old neighbor on his precious little bike with his Black Panther helmet is asking you why you live alone and why you're alone, you really evaluate your life. But he goes, I said, I'm not home a lot. I'm, I'm out with friends or family most of the time unless we're on lockdown. And he goes, okay, so you're not lonely then? <laughs> no, I'm not lonely. Anyways, I thought I would update you guys quickly. The reason I'm standing now is because I need my hands because I got a book and I usually don't like to do book mail in my vlogs because then it's like redundant when you do a book haul. But I'm losing my mind because of this book that just came in. For this little bad boy, I had to use my entire Amazon credit for the month, which is really annoying because it's expensive, but it's also a self-published book. So I'm kind of, you know, happy to support the author because I freaking love this book. You guys know that. And I got it and I was like, I cannot wait to showcase this. Now I need to read the novella and hopefully you can buy a copy of the novella and I can't wait for the second book to come out later this year and that is The Raven and the Dove by Caitlin Davis. Oh my gosh. Spine in the back. But wait, there's more. So it's just as pretty. Let's cover my ugly face. It's just as pretty as it looked on Goodreads. And now let me take it the dust jacket off so you guys can see it naked. It's printed on the book as well. Like this is, this is without the dust jacket on. My babies, gorgeous. Isn't this a nice quality book? I'm here for this, I'm loving it. And so I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh man, I have so much to update you on what I'm reading. I finished, I finished Wheel of Time book four. The Shadow Rising, which you guys will definitely have seen by now. I gave it a four out of five stars. I filmed a whole spoiler review, so I don't want to talk too much about it then. Now, Rana, you see both cats in the window right now. In case you guys aren't reading Wheel of Time and so you don't watch spoiler reviews because they're so cute because you haven't read them before. It is, I'm putting them in this order. My favorite is The Dragon Reborn, followed by The Eye of the World, then The Shadow Rising, then The Great Hunt. So this is like my third favorite out of four. Even though I think I rated The Great Hunt higher than this, I just get stingier and stingier with my ratings all the time, I guess. I think my enjoyment was hindered a tad bit by reading Memories of Ice. The cat is on the counter. Owl Fox, but honestly, she's too shy. Like if I yell, I do not raise my voice in this house with these cats because they were obviously very traumatized by the people before I got them. Anyways, it was a great book, excellent installment, loved it we saw so much character growth we had great character arcs from so many of the characters a lot of it i loved so much but it was so slow and this is the first time that i felt like the book was long like i have not been feeling like the books are long and for the first time i was like this feels like a long book and i don't know if the page because i have the hardcover of this I, I don't know if it's actually longer or not but it felt longer it was definitely the most boring out of all four books so far in my opinion and that is a very unpopular opinion i believe but anyways i finished that yesterday so the physical book that i started reading this week is the crown conspiracy which is book one in the bind up of Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I believe that's the author. I could be totally crazy. That might not be the author. Anyways, I'm about 30% of the way through it, I believe, and I freaking love it. It is everything at this point in time. It is so hilarious, in my opinion, and I enjoy every second that I'm reading it. And I think I had to, well, I've been reading some really dense fantasy, so I had to kind of like chug along reading The Shadow Rising. Even though I was loving it, it was like a lot to get through because I said some parts felt more boring. This book, I'm dying to pick it back up. And I just, start, wait, did I start it this morning? No, I started it last night. So I'm not even that far into it and I just already can't wait. I am already head over heels 
in love with these characters. I just adore them already. I adore all of them, but the main two especially, and then the prince kills me. He makes me laugh so much. This is everything I need, and this is so much of what I look for in my fantasy books, is this exact type of humor. I could be here all day for it. Like, I want every book to be like this. I don't think there's any magic in this book. Not that I can tell, at least so far. I think it's just like a fantasy world with royalty. But like I said, I am just eating it up. Can't wait to finish it and get to book two. And I'm gonna try the little trick that you guys have been telling me to do, which is to download it on your Kindle and then turn it on airplane mode. Because if not, I'm not gonna be able to finish it because it has to renew to the library tomorrow. Or it gets taken back to the library tomorrow. So I can't read it that fast. Well, I could, but I'm not going to spend all day reading. I have so many other things to do. So there's that. I love it. I'm obsessed. You guys were not wrong. Every single one of you. I didn't even know anybody liked this book. I never hear anybody talk about it. Like, it's been on my radar because I had heard it mentioned, but I just never hear it talked about anymore. And then you all came out of the woodwork and were like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's great. You all aren't wrong. You all are not wrong. That's for sure. It's great. And then I finished... The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin, which is the first book in the Dream Blood duology. I gave it a 3.25 out of 5 stars. It's definitely the least favorite, my least favorite thing I've read by her so far. Um, it wasn't bad, but I didn't like or care for the characters as much as I usually do, and I think that lessened my overall enjoyment of it. I don't think the characters were necessarily bad, but I just didn't find myself really caring for them as much as I thought I would. And the plot was just sort of basic, I suppose. What this book excelled in is the world building and the magic system of this like narcomancy dream blood. The people use like dream blood for healing and for their magical powers and stuff like that. So that was all very interesting and very unique in my opinion. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed it enough so that I'm definitely going to read the second one in the duology since there's only two. And N.K. Jemisin is just a really solid author. So I'm not surprised that she just put out a quality book but I'm such a character driven reader that it just doesn't appeal to me quite as much for that reason. But yeah, it's just very soothing and very comforting to listen to. So I want to listen to the sequel eventually, probably not this month. The next audiobook that I picked up is called Other Minds. It is a nonfiction book about octopuses and like deep sea life. Um, so I'm about 27, let's just guess, 27% of the way through. I'm in the 20s, I know that. Because you can listen to it pretty quick. I'm very much enjoying my time listening to it. This reminds me of why I love school so much because I absolutely love learning. I love everything about learning, but I don't like being tested over it because that's stressful. <laughs> so you're just learning a ton. Now I will say the, the first couple chapters in this is definitely like a review. Like if you've taken college level biology, at least at U of M or a university of similar standards, then you're gonna know all this information about the evolution and the history of the earth and I mean if you've had to take exams over the timeline of when different species evolved and such that it will definitely be a review for you but I don't think that's a bad thing it just like reminded me of a lot of those things and I think if you haven't taken a biology class in quite some time I think it would be like new information to you or at least a refresher on it because it does get into like I specifically remember learning about the Cambrian explosion and it gets very specific about details of things like that. So if you want to learn about evolution of like lots of family trees, what's the technical word for that? I'll put it on the screen once I remember. How humans evolved, what our most recent common ancestors are with octopuses, just going over all of those types of things. And then we're getting in, like right now we're talking about the nervous system of octopuses right now. And I'm definitely learning because I didn't learn the like specific details about octopuses specifically. I just learned more general details, I suppose, in biology, but I love it. It's very fascinating. It's very intriguing. And it's such, I haven't listened to a nonfiction book like this. Actually, probably this is the first one ever because of school and such. It is the greatest feeling ever to learn science and biology just for the sake of learning it. And I can sit here and I can listen and think like, wow, what a cool fact. Not like, 
oh my God, I specifically have to remember X, Y, and Z for the exam and I know it's gonna be twisted around and how am I gonna be able to repeat this? No, you can just take it in and you're like, wow, I'm glad I know that now. I'm glad I heard that fact and be done with it. And that's a great feeling, friends. I love that feeling. So I am super happy to be listening to it. But I thought it'd be really fun to listen to this because I know that Children of Ruin deals with intelligent octopuses, I think. So I thought it'd be fun to listen to this book specifically dealing with octopuses um, before listening to that, just because I enjoyed Children of Time so much because I did have a pretty decent base knowledge of spiders, because like I said, I was lived with somebody who bred tarantulas. So I wanted to have more information about the octopuses before reading that. So anyways, that's where I'm at with that. And yeah, that's about it because I have just started those books either today and yesterday. So I'll definitely be reading them for a good chunk of time. I will update you guys probably, yeah, one more time tomorrow because it's Thursday. Sorry that this has been sporadic again, but you guys all said just vlog when you feel like it. And today I feel like it. So here I am. This is a super long, annoying clip, I'm sure. But that just might be how it goes sometimes rather than a bunch of short little clips every day. It might just be a longer clip here and there where I can kind of wrap things up because I think that's more beneficial to your guys' time as well, because then you can kind of hear final thoughts on something rather than just, I like it, I'm liking it, I like it every three seconds. So there's that. But yeah, in other news, if you don't care about stuff not related to books, go ahead and skip ahead. But just talking about my house, I signed the purchase agreement today for the offer I'm making on the property that I'm buying. So that is freaking thrilling. I'm just like, so excited. Here we go. I had my second meeting with the builder yesterday and things are coming in on budget that I want, like everything I want, except like within reason. Uh, I think I'm scratching the bonus room idea. I have two living rooms right now and I don't use them ever. So I just need one living room and that will save me a ton of money. So I just need this house to sell. I've had one or two viewings every single day. I've had a ton of people here, which is hard because I have to make sure my house looks immaculate every day, which I mean, it already does, but just my OCD is like a little bit overboard about it because I want it to look, I want somebody to walk in and be like, wow, I want to live here. So the only negatives are I never plan on ever having a dog here because like I would not even date some, like I would never live with somebody if they have a dog. That's just like plain and simple that's just me. And this buy level doesn't have direct access to the backyard. And so that's a hindrance, which is really frustrating um, because a couple of people have said that now. Most people like the house, but haven't loved how close the homes are in this neighborhood, which is why I'm moving out to begin with. So I can totally understand that and agree with you, but it's going to happen. Need to not fret about it. Try to stay calm. And we're still going on our, I have to go back to work next week. So vlogs will definitely be different, probably more so back to how they used to be because of me going back to work. That's going to be very interesting. And then we're still going on our vacation at the end of next week. So we have yet to decide if we're driving or flying. There's pros and cons to both. The biggest con being it is 25 hours from Michigan to Utah. So leave me a comment if perchance any of you live in Utah, Nevada, or Arizona, because I'll be there next week. <laughs> well, not next week, the week after, but I'm leaving on Friday. Anyways, so that is pretty much all of the updates for you. My dinner just got done. You probably got heard it beeping. So I'm going to eat that and then devour some more of the Crown Conspiracy because I love it. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'm in my closet, which I realize is super weird and I'll probably regret when I'm editing this later, but we're here. It's fine. I just was going to do one last check-in before I close out this vlog because it's Thursday. So a new vlog starts tomorrow. It's been a busy day. We, like I said, we've been making a bathroom in my parents' basement for me to move into when I move out of this house while I'm saving some money while I'm building the other house. So we had tons of errands to do for that. And then I had showings at my house again. I got an offer on my house tonight. Thank you, God. So excited. Um, I'll hear back about the property that I put an offer in on today. I'll hear back tomorrow, hopefully, to see if he counters. I'm sure he'll counter. And things are going great. Um, as far as books go, I made it to about 67% hmm, I want to say of Other Minds, the book about octopuses. It's excellent. I love it. It's so interesting. Um, if you like science things and learning about biology and different 
species. I highly recommend it. Um, it's very scientific and it goes over in-depth studies that he's done. The author is definitely very knowledgeable, so I love listening to him. And then I'm just past 50%, I believe, through The Crown Conspiracy, which is book one in Theft of Swords. And I am still absolutely loving it update there's definitely magic i said before i wasn't sure if there's magic there's definitely magic there's a character that like is kind of yoda-esque in the way that he speaks but is a very sassy man um that's really funny that got introduced some twists and turns are happening that i wasn't sure if they were true before and i don't know it's just a fun fun time i love it i should probably finish it up this weekend sometime so it depends on if I ever get time to read again because literally life's so busy I never have time to read which seems like the dumbest thing to say ever when you're not working but I go back to work next week so we'll see but anyways thank you guys for watching another week's reading vlog hopefully this week was a little bit better than last week because I know last week was real short but just tons of things going on so thanks for sticking around and thank you and hello to all the beautiful new faces on this channel because I have gotten quite a lot of new subscribers lately so hi I don't usually film vlog clips in my closet, but here we are. The lighting was so much better this way. Oh man, especially because I need my Botox. Should have been filming from this direction. Anyways, I will see you guys next week.